Hello everybody, this is Sidearm and Magua here at the Lorraine Mockford Hall at the Virtual World's Best Practices in Education Conference 2024. We are looking at the student poster exhibits and Magua is going to show two of them from his own students. Over to you, Magua. Okay, let us go inside. That is Chala's poster, Merino in Second Life, and uh, the Dreamability Playground was the project that I recall as well. And um, I've seen the project itself, so in 3D, but now I'm checking the poster, which is uh, giving us the idea of what was it about uh, in, in a nutshell. And um, the Three of the students work together in this one, Merino, Barry Fry, and the Muzo. And I like the way that they work because they were very complementary to each other. Like one of them was building, the other one is uh, good in another thing and so on. So um, they, one of the other one was doing the research mostly. So they were complementing each other as a real team that it should be. And that was good. And the other thing is the Ch Chala uh, is the fourth year student right now and they won the prize uh, in this student challenge with the with this build the first they, they were the first prize winner and then um, they were taking the second course in second life because on third year they took another one which was the uh, virtual world ISP course and uh, then and now that they were they were uh, taking this cor uh, course in this fourth year as well another another one and uh, they wanted to join this contest voluntarily because this student challenge was part of the third year course so that was good also they were volunteer they came they build and then they won the prize it was very motivating for them I remember okay that is uh the first poster from our students and the second one is here from Owe. Universal Virtual Museum. Yeah that was a build and that was impressive. That was very impressive build as well and uh, we were kind of shocked i remember when they were building it like in very short time uh, i've been in a cell for many years and uh, you know i didn't build something like that so far myself but the students did in very short time which is good and um if you look at the what is the different what is different about this museum is this it is basically a virtual museum and collecting artifacts from various locations around the world and uh, from various uh, historical periods and that is practically almost impossible uh, in real life so that is something good about this project that is kind of a unique idea that doing something in virtual world that you cannot do in a in a real life scenario most probably they're not going to give you all those uh, artifacts and build a museum in some ways. And accessibility feature is very, very important in this project. Uh, and both students, even Chala and Ovi, they, they told us afterwards that they learn a lot about accessibility because even though we think we know a lot about it or we care about it, we don't think it in our daily lives we just you know uh, live our lives without thinking how people with disability or uh, disadvantaged groups are living in their life so um, that was very important to add accessibility part in every project that we do here to create awareness about it and i think we succeed on that these courses and this project as well 
So congratulations to the students. Thank you, Magua. Is there anything you'd like to say in closing? Uh, I think it pays off what we are doing here when you see those kind of projects done by the students. And um, we are opening their eyes in terms of that these kind of platforms exist and they could do something here as well, as well as a real life, and as well as uh, they could even get a career here. Uh, and some of them would like to, when they, they come talk to me and then what can they do after this class? What, what can they join our next class as a course assistant or something like that? I get questions like that every day right now from students, which is, which is kind of a proof that uh, it touches them, what we do. That, that was our goal in the first place uh, when we designed these courses and delivered them. So uh, I appreciate the effort from the students as well as the team helping us to build these courses and to deliver it. Thank you. All right. Thank you very much.